At 10 tonight, Louisville's abandoned car issue might be getting some help in Shively. WDRB's Joel Skipper shows us the city's plans and why some want the city to pump the brakes. Hundreds of abandoned cars like this one littering the streets of Louisville, but an announcement on Tuesday about a new tow lot could help alleviate the problem. Abandoned vehicles is one of the top complaints that we get from citizens within the community and, and with officers. We absolutely want to address those concerns. And those were addressed Tuesday with Mayor Greg Fisher's announcement, a new LMPD auction lot for abandoned cars. I know there's at least a couple hundred that officers have called in um, and that are on a list um, waiting to be towed. In a statement to WDRB News, Mayor Fisher said, quote, our existing impound lot is a challenge that has been exacerbated by the COVID-19 pandemic because of the slowing and stopping of auctions that, in normal circumstances, would help us get cars out of the lot and off the streets. The nearly five and a half acre lot is on 7th Street in Shively and will be able to house nearly 700 vehicles, cutting down some of the backup and overcrowding in the current lot on Frankfurt Avenue. However, not everyone is happy with its location. Shively council member and mayoral candidate Chester Burrell said Fisher has now decided to make Shively, quote, Louisville's dumping ground and never consulted with the city. From the land Metro Council Member David James is glad the issue is finally being tackled, but says it's only temporary. When you have a abandoned vehicle that's been sitting in front of your house for months, um, what does that say about your quality of life? What does it say about what your government thinks about you and your quality of life and your neighborhood? The city plans to add security, fencing, and vegetation around the new lot, an area where the public will be gathering for car auctions which have only been online so far during the pandemic. Once we can get the vehicles off the street and the tow lot can get its management practices in order, um, I'm hoping that will be a part of the solution to this whole thing. The plan will now go to the Development Review Committee for Public Input January 19th. In Louisville, Joel Skipper, WDRB News.